it started out uh, as a you know a in initiative to to come up with some more uh, interdisciplinary knowledge some more answers to this urgent need we discovered from the business side and um, and the reason why it has grown into a global gathering in in less than 12 months is exactly that there's so many other stakeholders looking for the si same type of uh, of answers because unless we are looking into food health and sustainability uh, as a trinity uh, in a holistic perspective we won't be able to solve some of the greatest challenges we are facing with respect to the public health crisis we are um, are see increasing and the climate change loss of biodiversity all the environmental uh, challenges as well a lot of this has to do with how we produce the food and, and the modern uh, diets and the changing diets You know, that, that's actually the whole idea, because uh, the world needs everything but just another conference. And, and our hope and, uh, and ambition is that this forum will be not only a platform to get stakeholders from the different sectors together, but also uh, a platform where we are actually able to capture inputs from the delegates from the different uh, regions of the world, from low and uh, middle income countries as well as the developed world. Mm. And, and what has been going on now is uh, eight uh, closed working shops where, where people have been uh, asked, invited to, to provide input to particular important topics. So, and, and this will be some, some concrete coming out. Uh, you know, it will be it will be published a call to action paper in the Lancet, hopefully, and and there is also some some very very good inputs uh, that has been provided for the long term strategies. How can we really uh, position food, health, and sustainability as a as a trinity in the you know in the on the political agenda, both at a global but also at a, a local level. It has been fantastic, inspiring, uh, 400 enthusiastic, passionate delegates from 28 countries. It has been so much energy and so many good ideas coming out already. So I think it has been a fantastic start. Mm -hmm. Other countries look to Sweden uh, and consider Sweden as uh, one of the most sustainable countries in the world. For example, Sweden is among the few that has managed to uh, decouple economic growth uh, and, and um, greenhouse gas emissions. And uh, Sweden was uh, ranked as the most sustainable country uh, last year. And so that's one thing. And then, of course, Stockholm Resilience Center, which is our main academic partner, uh, is localized here. And, and it was it was a very logic uh, explanation to to have it here and not to last but not least stockholm is uh, the the largest city in uh, the nordic uh, region but i think i would like to uh, to point out to uh, new type of of uh, partnerships new new types of uh, collaborations mm -hmm. as because we also need innovation in that direction mm -hmm. and and how ho i hope that one thing that will spur out of this uh, this initial forum uh, could be several um, regional and local uh, eat side events uh, that could help address these interconnected challenges and opportunities and innovations uh, at local scale uh, because food production occurs in uh, at, at the local level so we we have to take it from global to local <laughs>